Welcome! In this example, we want to write the linear function given that f of 3 is negative 2 and f of negative 12 is equal to 4. And this will basically look like writing the equation of a line that goes through two points, but we don't want the notation to mess us up. In this, our function that we're looking for has a few inputs and outputs, and here's how we read them. So this one says that when we give 3 as an input, we get negative 2 as an output. And if we give it an input of negative 12, we get an output of 4. Now a good way to look at inputs and outputs is in terms of, say, x's and y's. Our inputs are the x's, and our outputs are the y's. So from this first bit of information, we have an x-y pair, a 3 and a negative 2. From the next bit of information, we have an input of negative 12 and an output of 4. So these are the two points I will use. First, I'm going to use them to find my slope. Recall that the formula for slope is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Well, let's plug in our information and see what this turns out to be. So 4 minus a negative 2 all over a negative 12 minus 3. All right, we simplify this. So I have a 4 plus 2 on the top. And it looks like a negative 15 on the bottom. Give me a final answer of 6 over a negative 15. Very good. So this gives us the slope of our linear function. Now let's continue on just a little bit more and use another formula known as point slope. We, were, we are going to plug in one of our points and the slope we just found to create that equation. All right, so y minus, and just to keep things nice and simple, I'm just going to borrow the first point, negative 2. There's the slope we found, negative 6 fifteenths, x minus 3. All right, that's looking pretty good. Well, let's simplify this and then we'll be in good shape. So y plus 2 equals, and of course we will distribute that in, negative 6 fifteens x, positive 6 fifths. All right, let's see, one last step. Uh, we need to subtract a 2 to the other side. So y equals negative 6 fifteenths x and 6 fifths minus 2. Uh, let's see, what will that give us? Well, let's do it this way. Minus 10 fifths uh, work. So a negative 4 fifths. Now that's pretty good. But when working with functions, we want to make sure that we use the notation of functions. So the only thing I'm going to do to this is I'm going to take out this y and replace it with an f of x. So my final answer becomes f of x is equal to a negative 6 fifteenths x minus 4 fifths. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit mysecretmathtutor.com.